So, viewers, here's my thinking. Let's rule out games against Tottenham. We're invincible. And the Community Shield. Let's rule out those two games. Invincible. So far, we're invincible in Europe and we're invincible in the Carabao Cup. So, I'll thank you very much. Thank you very much. So yeah, that, that doesn't actually count. But I think it's good to just, that's what we should call us. We're invincible. Now, since we last won, it was the Carabao Cup against Chelsea. We followed that up with a game against Liverpool, which retrospectively, folks, I wish you'd seen. They got off to a flying start. Mohamed Salah, after three minutes, got a cracking goal. But luckily for us, Alexander Lacazette was on form. A hat-trick for him in the game. Ms. Ozil and Riyad Mahrez also getting goals. Uh, Riyad Mahrez has got coming in the 94th minute. The game was already won by that point, but it was nice to put the icing on, a, on an Arsenal-shaped cake. And uh, yeah, a really dominant performance. More possession, 26 shots in the game. They had 15. A very open game, hence there were seven goals in it. We then moved on to a 6-0 win against Lokomotiv Moscow, and Moussa Dembele got a chance to shine, and boy did he. Three goals in the game, a hat-trick for him, the final one coming in the 84th minute. Eden Hazard also missed a very early penalty in the game, so it could have been way more than six, but uh, we'll take it, I think. They're not a bad side either, Lokomotiv Moscow, so take nothing away from me. Um, oh, bloody, this is a familiar feeling at the moment. A 3-3 draw away from home. Perisic scores an 81, in fact... It was a very close game. Like Huddersfield took the lead for a brief period. We got back in it. And then it was the final minutes of the game. Like literally the final minutes of the game. We had a corner. They break away. And uh, it's Trossard. Uh, Leandro Trossard with the goal in the final moments. And it, it got them the 3-3. And I should have gone a little bit more reserved. But I'm always the sort of team to push for more goals. Clean sheets. Not something we're overly familiar with. That said, against West Brom, of all the teams, Eden Hazard, 62 minutes, gets the goal. And we keep a clean sheet. Uh, Koscielny had the man of the match performance with a 7.5 and a really good win, an important win to keep the momentum going. 20 shots in that game, only four on target, bit of a concern, but if you, as long as you win the game, not really bothered. Uh, and then finally, a 5-1 win against Salzburg. There you are, got it right. And uh, again, Dembele, a hat-trick man in Europe. Uh, Lacazette picked up a little bit of an injury and hasn't featured so much, so he's come in and done a fine job, Dembele. Another hat-trick for him and uh, takes his tally. I don't know what it will be now. More than six, I would assume. Definitely six, but maybe more than six. 27 shots in the game to their two. And uh, yeah, a 5-1 win. They had one shot on target and scored, so they're probably quite happy with that. Uh, today then, we bring you Manchester United and Everton. I did consider the Europa League, but that group is pretty much done at this stage. If you take a look at group I, uh, you can see looking out of Moscow, six points. We've won every single game, so we're, we're dominating really. Troy Dini, top goal scorer, so that's realistic. But yes, Manchester United and Everton to come. Two big games. And ordinarily, I would have brought you the Europa League game. But the reason not is the league table itself. Manchester United and Everton are the two teams currently that sit above us. If we beat Everton, uh, hopefully with our game in hand especially, we'll go ahead of them. And Manchester United can be caught. Not necessarily today, but they can be caught, I'm hoping and, and believing. Uh, so we've got every chance. As I say, though, Lacazette uh, is out with a twisted ankle. We'll miss both games today, I think. So he may, he may well be out for the second one, but I think it's unlikely. Um, he's been out for a little while. I think it was a, a six-week injury he's had two weeks out he's got two weeks left maybe a four-week injury um against south korea twisted ankle he has a few ankle issues he had a few hamstring issues now he's got a few ankle in uh, issues so let's get into this first game running through the team it's arsenal versus manchester united and it should be a cracker so team wise we welcome back uh, a few of our players as well from the african cup of nations they've been away i don't know if it was qualifying or the actual tournament but regardless they're back Mares comes back into the team then uh, hazard on the left Urzel and dembele will keep his spot up top so far since he's come in you've seen in europe he's been scoring goals for fun we've got Xhaka and ramsey in the center with Rose, Van Dijk, Koscielny, and Chambers at right back. Uh, Czech will be in goal for this one. Bellerin is suspended. Injuries to Klasnak, Seri, and Lacazette make us slightly weaker. In fact, we'll put uh, Gay on the bench for Lacazette instead, and we'll see how we do. The reason I, just to clarify, the reason I say Gray is because that's exactly how it looks, but now I know it's not, and I still can't. But I've been calling him Gray for about a year and a half. It's too late. I don't... Okay, then, into the games we go. It didn't actually go into the game, so that's gone well. Right, there are the teams then. Kasper Dolberg is up front for uh, Manchester United. Of course, he's a key part of my Ajax save that's going on at the moment. Martial, Mata, Mkhitaryan, Matic and Goretzka behind with Luke Shaw, Eric Bailey, Lindelof and uh, yeah, Valencia, the Tahir in goal. Decent side, not to be messed with. Lukaku and Martins on the bench with Rashford. They've got, they've got options if it doesn't go right, whereas they've got to say our front four there... Pretty deadly, I think. So let's see how we get on. Of course, we're going to start attacking. Um, notoriously, as we've seen many times, we've only lost one game this season, and that was against Spurs. These bigger games, they cause us the biggest problems. So I guess we'll have to wait and see. I'm not... I'm, I'm semi-confident. I'd be more confident if Bellerin was playing, but he's not. And if Seri was playing, but he's not. And if Klassen... There's a few players I wish were playing. And you can see there, though, Luke Shaw and Goretzka, they've both got injuries to speak of. As the ball's launched forward, it's a bit quick for my liking. We'll, we'll slow it down just a touch as Dolberg makes his way through. Dolberg with a... Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. Flipping it. But yeah, they've got a few injuries back there. So um, that might be something we can take advantage of. Who knows? This is a big game because I don't, I don't necessarily think we're... 
Now, see, I can't really say this because I think I said at the start of the season we definitely are. I don't think we are in a position to challenge for a league title. But if you don't win your home games against Manchester United, then the chances of that are diminished. Why have Matic and Eric Valley swapped places? What's that all about? He's now playing central midfield. He's not a natural... Okay, I've got no idea. Okay, that's bizarre. They've literally swapped... I've never seen that before. Two pl I don't know if it's just because I'm on a wet... But yeah, they, they literally have swapped places. Right then. That should, in theory, make our life a little bit easier, right? Surely? As uh, you'd like to come forward, though. Mata into Dolberg. He gets past his man. Shot on goal. Actually cuts it back. And Juan Mata heads it in. I don't want to say his movement to the ball was a little bit unrealistic, but it looked weird on my screen. Let's just take a look at that again. Keep your eyes on Juan Mata, who is part of this move, remember. He lays it into Dolberg, and then all of a sudden becomes the quickest player in the universe as he sprints to the back post and jumps. I mean, mm, yes, okay. 43 minutes gone, United lead 1-0. To be fair, actually, I talk about big games. We beat Liverpool pretty handedly at home. And um, so far in this game, 10 shots, three on target to their six. And they they don't look as up for this as perhaps we should be. But as we get to half-time, they, they have the lead, which is well, irritating, obviously. Okay, let's get, let's get aggressive with them and say, show me something else in the second half. It wasn't that bad. It just wasn't that good. We're going to bring a Wobi on for, uh, for Mares. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I think I've just brought Timo Horn on for Dembele. Flipping heck. How do I undo this? I can't undo this. Hello? Okay. Uh, no, I don't. Uh, can we swap that back, please? Oh, God. Don't tell me I can't. There's, there's an un... Okay, that, imagine that. Horn up front all game. Right. Um, yeah, a Wobi's going to come for Mares. Mares, as I say, has been away uh, playing for his national side. So we're going to bring in a Wobi who's been taking his place and... He's been playing very direct, although he's playing as an inside forward. He's been getting to the byline often and cutting it back for the likes of Dembele. We've not really seen a chance like that so far in the game, despite how many shots we've had. So, let's see if that makes the uh, the all-important difference. With Everton coming up, you want to carry the momentum. I mean, as I say, we've been unbeaten this season, apart from that game against Spurs, which is obviously a bigger game. Um, but we've beaten the likes of Manchester City. I think, did we, did we beat them? I'm sure we did. We beat, mm, cut that out, I can't remember. Hazard, left side. This is the highlight after the uh, the kickoff's been taken. Ramsey finds Awobi, his first chance in the game. Awobi smashes it in. We'll talk about an instant impact, uh, impact even. Alex Awobi gets the goal. Heavens, he's been on the pitch for 50 seconds, switched about for Mares, and already he's got us a goal. I mean, talk about an impact sub. I think I'll take all the credit for that. Would Timo Horn have done that? I don't think so. Hazard is tackled. Ramsey with a great first time through ball, and Awobi just smashes it into the back of the net. 1 1, back on level terms. The game has turned on its head if we score again and maybe we will Danny Rose back to Xhaka Xhaka and Ramsey not a familiar partnership in the centre haven't played them all that much this season as Dembele lays it off for Chambers oh actually Awobi's on side and he's found a way in oh my god Awobi he scored this time he goes down as a David De Gea own goal but we'll take the goal it's, that was a bizarre bit of play Awobi was well offside but a tackle came in meaning that he found himself onside shot on goal De Gea seems to have palmed it in we'll take a look from this reverse angle then oh my word Hazard into Dembele Across the chambers to the slide tackle finds Awobi, who just shoots pure luck, it feels like, off the back of De Gea. And now the turnaround really is complete. 2 1. What an impact for Alex Awobi. I mean, I've been a little bit indifferent on him all season, but he keeps doing things like that, and he'll, he'll play in this team far more. When Maras was away, actually, we played, we sort of played a mixture of Awobi and Lacazette out on that right hand side. Uh, obviously, with Lacazette being injured, he makes the most sense uh, to come in. Hazard uh, is struggling for fitness and isn't having the best game, so it makes sense to bring Perisic on. It's lovely to have an option. I tell you what, I like Perisic. Uh, in these latter stages. Rashford plays a three ball to Lukaku, who's come on to the, for, uh, for Manchester United. Ball to the back post. Martins is there as well. Gelson Martins, the two men that have come on combined. And it was a highlight, in fact. Uh, it's a good goal for United, and they need, they need to change something. And the substitutions have made all the impact, which is a pity. I mean, we stay attacking, and I know people will say, why do you stay attacking? Like, go counter-attacking. I think ordinarily we would, but if you can get an extra goal then you, stand, you put yourself in a good position as Danny Rose smashes it off the line. I just think final 15 minutes now, we've got every chance of taking this game. We're going to bring Wilshire on in the centre for uh, for Xhaka. And we'll just see five minutes. We're into the 90s. And it looks as if it's going to be a 2 to Unless, of course, we do something right now. Matic heads clear. And it looks then as it's going to end 2-2. Two -two, um, unless, of course, it doesn't end 2-2. Two -two. No, it's going to... Is it going to end? It is going to end 2-2. Two -two. Surely, right? Yeah, there we go. The referee blows for full time. 
Ah, oh, wow. It's annoying because we took a lead and then kind of threw it away a little bit. But um, United are a good, a good team with some very good players. And I think a draw against them isn't the worst result. If we'd have lost this game, I'd have been really disappointed. They would have taken a, an extra advantage. But things don't change too much. I'm going to say you're unlucky as well. It could it could have been the game you won. There'll be an argument to say I should have been a bit harsher on them. But we'll, we'll say they're unlucky. And uh, we stay in third place then. Remain above Tottenham. Everyone is on a level standing up there now, apart from maybe Watford. Uh, a win for them could see them actually go above us. Well, bloody flipping. They're not drawing a game yet. Um, yeah, we've, we've lost one this year, as of Manchester United, and we still remain six points the ha uh, behind them. Everton to come, though, and we could move into second place. So I'll see you in a week's time for that. So, uh, hopefully what we can do uh, with this game coming against Everton is bring the Carrillo back. Because Gay's been away on uh, international duty, we have to switch it up to a playmaker, which I didn't enjoy as much. So, uh, let's see. Was it a playmaker I changed it to? Pretty sure I did. Yeah, deep line playmaker. No. Uh, Carrillo, that's what we want in there. So, let's get him back in the side, alongside Seri, who's back to full fitness, as, uh, as we get ever closer to this game. Bellerin's now back after a suspension. Was it a suspension? I think it was a suspension. And Lacazette still probably going to be out with an injury. Uh, this is a, there's a temptation in this game to play Mares. Sorry, to play a Wobi over Mares, but I think we'll keep it as is. I do think overall Mares offer, offers us what we're looking for on that side. Um, of course, if we need to change it, we know that a Wobi can come in and do the job. Do you know what? The pre-match team talks, I don't pay much attention to. Okay, I think this is pretty much as close to a best 11 as you're going to get. I think Lacazette being there would probably top it off. You could argue, actually, you could argue play Danny Rose stepping out for Klasnak as well, but he's out injured still. Um, Lacazette is fit, so, or like, fit enough to an extent. So I think Horn's going to drop to the bench, uh, drop to the reserve, sorry. We'll put Lacazette on the bench if needs be. Big game against Everton. Dembele needs to start scoring goals. He does it in Europe against the lesser sides. Can he do it in a second v third clash? Let's find out. There are the teams there. Uh, Mitchy is up front for Everton. They actually bought him, which is quite interesting 12.25 million uh, so he gets it on one side Pavon on the other McCarthy Barkley and Schneidlin uh, Jordan Lukaku at left back he'll be off to Manchester United eventually I assume uh, Tompkins and Maguire at the back Coleman and Pickford so quite a few changes in the Everton ranks compared to how they start the game uh, Michael Keane is on the bench as is a player like Kevin Morales so let's see then Everton decent side it seems having a very good year uh, let's get let's oh, let's get assertive with them been a good, a good run lately Scott there and impressed me and they kind of liked it. I don't need to click that button. It's fine. I don't, I don't know what you've heard. Okay, here we are then in the red and white shooting from right to left and of course Everton in their famous blue and white at Goodison. So it's uh, it's going to be a testing game I would imagine. So Goodison has actually started the game with an injury. Uh, if we take a look at that, he's got a pulled groin so he's, he probably won't be at full full canter. I don't know what the word I was looking for was. Okay, Everton working it quite neatly at the back. Uh, Ross Barkley gives it off to Jordan Lukaku. He plays it back inside to McCarthy, and a ball's played forward, but no, because Shelney intercepts, and Hazard's touch is fantastic. Suddenly, his run is less so, uh, as Everton starts to build from the back. Then Bailey's going to close down Pickford, but he deals with that pretty comfortably. You've got to say, Everton playing with fire a little bit at the back there, but eventually work it out quite neatly. And now McCarthy plays a great three ball to Mitchy, who's been in fine goal scoring form for Everton. <sighs> Check with a save. I mean, was it a save, a block? I'm not really sure. But a corner kick to Everton. And uh, Sigurdsson puts it into the front post. Great little challenge from Mazit Ozil, of all people. And potentially, a counter-attack could be on the cards as Dembele's ball out to this left-hand side is decent. Over to Eden Hazard, who has Mahrez on that far side. It's not the, great, the best ball out to him, though. And Mahrez is, is crowded out with McCarthy now coming forward again for Everton. And this is a back-and-forth game so far. Mitchie switches it over to Ross Barkley, who looked offside to me. And I think the assistant has raised the flag as such. There we are, then. Free kick, though. So to take dangerous area as it's headed down. And again, it could even result in a counter-attack for Everton. But no, Danny Rose plays it across to Hector Bellerin. And uh, we're going to build from the back, I would hope. Uh, Van Dijk just launches one towards Mares, who doesn't win the header. You don't really expect him to, to be honest. And now Gilfie Sigurdsson in what is a quite a tricky area to get it out. But they do. Barkley now on it. And uh, but Mitchie makes some great runs. He's on the ball again there. Takes on his man. Shot on goal. And I've got to say, folks, I, and I hate to admit this, that, my friends, has been coming. We're going to change it up to standards. And, uh, and see if that makes any difference. But so far, Mitchie's finding a lot of space, not only in between the lines of our midfield and our defence, but uh, through the through our two midfielders, or th sorry, through our two centre-backs as well. You can see this ball, it's just sort of put into an area. Mitchie's on it, Van Dijk just sort of lets him run through, and it's a good finish by Mitchie. Disappointing. But Shawaii, annoying. Corner kick, Surrey to take it, and he, uh, he puts it in, but Harry Maguire's there to head away. You're not going to get the ball over Harry Maguire very easily. Gay plays it back out to Surrey, and the midfielders combine on the edge of the box. Riyad Mahrez now with a chance, then Bele with a shot on goal, and he, he lashes it into the back of the net. A great finish. The fans behind the goal celebrating in unison, I dare say, uh, and then Bele, I called upon him to get a goal, and that 
that one was what we were looking for. And some nice work from our two midfielders on the edge of the box from the corner. And eventually, it comes into the, the feet of Dembele. It's a good pass into Mahrez, who just slips it into Dembele. And the first time finish, oh, the, the net bulges. That's what you want to see. Bulging net, yes, please. Okay, so far, then, you can see still level on points with Chelsea and still a couple of points behind Everton. But that could all change with a goal for either side. Everton with the ball on this right-hand side. Coleman and Pabon working together quite nicely. Michi now puts it back out to this right-hand side again as Coleman starts to bring it forward. But no, Hazard intercepts and the ball forward's not the best. But Bar Barkley with a little bit of work to do. Gives it out to Sigurdsson. You've not seen too much of so far in the game. But a decent cross has been put into the middle. Headed clear by Van Dijk. But Lukaku's on it and the danger isn't over just yet. To the walls of that post. Pabon heads it back. And are you taking the piss game? How on earth has that gone in? Pabon celebrates. Lukaku with a cross. I mean, yes, there's an argument to say we shouldn't be letting the cross come in from those sorts of areas. I mean, Lukaku, first of all, beats Bellerin like he's not. Bellerin's defending there is pretty woeful. But, they, they, I mean, I, I somewhat question the goalkeeping of Petr Cech. It's a great header, actually, when you look at it again. But we could be doing more. I tell you, facing one of the better sides, we're struggling. And I've, I've, got to, I've got to start to wonder, that do I need to develop a second tactic against the bigger sides, the better sides? It's been quite conflicting, though, because against Liverpool, we outran them. But then again, we still conceded a couple of goals in the game. As Everton forward again here, we're, we're asleep. We are literally asleep. McCarthy gets the goal. I mean... What is going on at the back? It's, it's all gone to pot very quickly. Um, the situation we've got now is that Maris has got an assist. He's on a 6.9, but I still feel as if Alex Awobi is about to enter the fray. Danny Rose is on a 6.4. I mean, the defence in general are, are shocking. Maybe they're not getting enough cover in front, and maybe that's something we'll look at now. But um, show me something else in the second half, because that is appalling. Let's take a look at the tactics quickly then, and let's change something around. The, the, the midfield clearly aren't offering enough support, but this is, the, this is the issue for me, is that they've been playing well. So it's that it's difficult to know what to change. Uh, Gates come in and had a poor game. But actually, do you know what? I'm going to bring Xhaka on in the centre. We don't know if he's good in the role. It's literally got rid of the circle. Do you know what? I'm going to bring away beyond for Mares. I'm going to do it. And again, we can't see, we can't see his little colour, um, but there we are. Right, I, I know he can play out on the, on the wing in a supporting role. We've gone standard flexible. I guess we'll see. We, we might have to bring Lacazette on late doors as well. I know Dembele scored, but I just think the goal-scoring form that Lacazette's been in, you'd be foolish not to bring him on at some point. 3-1 Everton. I mean, they're playing very well. So he's got a free kick as we try and get ourselves back in the game because Shelney's headed down and Mazzetta stabs home. And I think if, it is, if they allow it, has it been allowed? It's offside. Oh, no. I had no idea. And there, no one was reacting, so I didn't know what to do. That would have been a really good time to score. Early in the second half, you give yourself a lot of time. Not only to get back in the game to draw it, but win it. Morales has come on for Gilfie Sigurdsson as well in the forward areas. As Is he on a booking? Danny Rose. Roger Reese is calling him over. And it looks as if to me that Danny Rose, not only has had a pathetic game... He's now been sent off. I'm starting to convince myself that he's been sent here by Spurs. Right. Well, there's not a natural left back to put out there, is there? So I think Kamona is probably our best option, which is which is annoying for two reasons. One, no, actually, I'm gonna no, we're gonna play three at the back. I've changed my mind. We're gonna have Seri playing there. We're gonna have Jaco as a deep line playmaker, and just play that. It's not the worst system ever. Oh, I'm not gonna. I don't want to make it. Do you know what? Lacazette's coming on now for Dembele. I mean, this might be a gamble. Danny Rose has let me down big time today. Not only has he put in a dreadful performance out on that side, two of the goals, remember, one of them was a header, a cross has come in from that direction as well, and now we're dealing with this. And even the McCarthy goal, he runs down the side of Danny Rose. It's just so poor. Down to 10 men, as Mitchy goes close again. 10 minutes to go. I've got to say, folks, this game looks all but over, as now Lacazette's got an injury. For God's sake, crumbling here. We are crumbling. So at this point, we're down to nine, and... Our star striker has got himself injured again. Maybe he was brought back too soon. As um, Everton now, they could ease, this could be goals. I mean, it's, it should and could have been four. I guess we go counter-attacking and just hope for the best a little bit. Awobi's driving forward. He's, he's a little bit isolated, but he gives it to Hazard on the other side. It comes back to Mesut Ozil. If we somehow... I mean, the, what a challenge by Lukaku that is. If Awobi gets on that, it could have been 3-2. Danny Rose is getting fined. We'll put it that way. Definitely getting fined. Who knew that Klasenak was so important? <laughs> Not me, apparently. Pretty sure at the start of this episode, I was going on about the Invincibles. And with five seconds to go then, it's Arsenal 1. Well, actually, we'll do it the right way around. Everton 3, Arsenal 1. 
a defeat away from home and our away form generally has not been the best some circumstances outside of my control but then again I mean they scored two in a minute which is just I didn't even notice that at the time two in the 40 second minute I certainly said naturally not aggressively say I'm far from peace with what I've just seen Ozil seems demotivated like what do you mean mate what's your problem so most disappointing then Lacazette is now out for even longer Danny Rose is banned he's getting, he's getting fined a week's wages we'll say he wants to discuss it just I mean bleep it Ben Danny Rose what, you, what do you mean I thought it was unprofessional from Danny Rose I can't be happy following a performance like that no I can't be and do you know what we're like is it out for four weeks we're just going to wrap things up there if you've enjoyed the episode do leave a like if you want to see some more subscribe to the channel and I am most disappointed but we go again